Praise the living God. I thank you guys today for joining me for this video. Apologies. I should probably record this from a different angle because sunlight issues and stuff, okay? So I'm going to just record this from here. Amen. Praise the living God. So guys today i'm gonna i felt very strongly led to make this kind of video and it's been a long time since i felt strongly led to make a video exposing the new age but now i believe um personally right now i have the tools which will enable me to truly speak about this properly um today amen so this video will be called third eye and the spiritual awakening exposed, okay? So many people today in these last days are very, they're woke, um, they're spiritually awakened. And, you know, these people, they're getting a lot of traffic to their websites, they're getting a lot of traffic to their YouTube channels. And um, people who do these kind of videos are often promoted higher in the YouTube rankings. Like for example, there was someone in my recommendations called Spiritual So. So basically, um, his he he's his third eye is opened. He's he's reached higher consciousness um, now, and um, basically, he sun gazes as a, in order to 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 be more woke. You know, to help him with becoming a vegan, etc. And I understand why many people want to become vegans today because a lot of the packaged food we eat is isn't healthy it's not good for us really is it um but yeah like um the truth about the third eye and the false spiritual awakening of these days is it is it is false it is demonic it is not of god you know um and even demon in greek means intelligence so just because you've suddenly become more intelligent more aware of the things going on around you you know, um, doesn't mean you're spiritually woke, okay? You only become spiritually woke after you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the truth that I'm going to tell you. But stay for this video, watch the whole video so that you may get an understanding of what I'm trying to say in this video. So basically, um, I've got my notes here. So I'm going to be looking down a lot while explaining to you and i believe this has been put on my heart to share with you guys um what the truth is so there's two types of spiritual awakenings one which is of god where he removes the veil that blinded you to the truth by the power of his holy spirit and there is a demonic spiritual awakening for instance the people who are under this demonic spiritual awakening are today's psychics, fortune tellers, witches, astrologers, and so-called woke people who have reached the level of higher consciousness. You see, these people are under the false evil spiritual awakening. They call it the age of um, Aquarius, okay? The age of Aquarius where people are waking up. An Aquarius is a zodiac sign, a star sign, if you like. And although zodiac appears to be true, the source of the knowledge of the zodiac comes from demons, also known as the stars of heaven. The Bible says that they are the stars of heaven or principalities in high places. Zodiac. is based yeah base zodiac is based on the star signs so this knowledge comes from the stars of heaven so the alignment of the stars make up each zodiac sign there's taurus um there's aquarius there's leo there's cancer there's pisces um and various others you know what i'm saying various others you see now the reason these stars have a lot of truth is because Satan is the God of this world. Satan, the devil, is the God of this world. And the master of these stars of heaven is Satan. 
This is all his doctrine. This is all his way to deceive many. Do you know what I mean? So Satan and his fallen angels having dominion on this earth, which has been given to them by humans because humans were disobedient to God, in a sense, gives them power over the earth. The reason you see in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, the Lord says that he has given man dominion over the earth, made man in his image, given man dominion over this earth. So man technically rules. So what man says kind of goes. So man can choose whether he allows the influence of God to help him rule or he allows the influence of himself, you know, or the devil to let him rule. Because man decided to eat from the tree of not the knowledge of good and evil, which God had told him not to eat, but man had been persuaded and deceived by the devil to eat from that tree, First of all, Eve was deceived and then Eve persuaded Adam to eat from that tree. By doing that, they've allowed an open door to the devil to rule on the earth because, you know, because they had disobeyed God and now they would taken on a new nature because basically they disobeyed God, which had equaled spiritual death within them. They taken on a new nature, which was evil. Basically, from Adam's seed, his nature would be passed on to all his descendants. All of his children will have inherited this imperfect nature of being sinful. However, if they'd remained faithful to God and not eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and of evil, then they would have been perfect and they would have been perfectly woke. They would have been in touch truly with the truth of the spiritual realm knowing who god is but now seeing as the devil now has uh, has an open door to humanity because of humanity's sinful nature and the wickedness of man's heart he can deceive man through various types of spiritual deception you know what i'm saying god is still there jesus christ is still on the throne he is he is mighty to save with his powerful right hand and he can save you. But man has been given free will now. So we have free will to choose um, who is our king, if you like. That king could be the devil or that king could be God. Now, often the devil tells man the lie. What was the lie that the devil told to Eve in the garden? Saying that she, he told her that if, she eats from this tree, she will become like God, knowing good and evil. And what is the lie of the, 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 the spiritual awakening? What is the lie of um, spiritual awakening? What is the lie of the new age? The lie of the new age is the same lie from the serpent in the garden. You say, you see, eat from this and you'll become like God. They believe, open your third eye and you will raise to a higher consciousness and you will become like a God. For everyone is a God. And they believe that the reason Jesus, what became the ascended master, was because he discovered this secret and he became a God. And all of us can ascend to this if we open our third eye. But the truth of this matter is there is only one God who is sovereign over all, who created man in his image. You see what I mean? So we're created in the image of God to reflect the glory of God. But this isn't down to us, but this is down to God, the Lord Jesus Christ and his power, which lives within us. But not everyone can become a child. Not everyone is a child of God and not everyone um, has this power living within them because they have not accepted that Jesus Christ is sovereign, that Jesus Christ is Lord, and they haven't um, submitted to His kingship, but rather have submitted to their own. And um, this is a this is this is a demonic doctrine because, you know, the, the the doctrine of Satanism is do what thou wilt, do what thou wilt. So there is no moral law, there is no um, God's law, but this is do what thou wilt. So if you apply this in a spiritual sense, you've technically become your own God. And although you've gained knowledge and you may have, uh, uh, you know, 
achieved a higher conscience, you have not found the truth. You have not found the truth. You may have found truths, but you have not found the truth. For Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. So the only way you can truly, you know, achieve and become who you are actually born to be is by knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read a few scriptures, okay? I'm going to read a few scriptures. First scripture is Ephesians 6.12. Give me one second, okay? I always find it hard to find the book of Ephesians um, for some reason. I know roughly where it is. Okay, here we go. Cool. Ephesians 6.12 says. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers of the unseen world against mighty powers of the dark world and against evil spirits in heavenly places. So these evil spirits, these dark principalities that we wrestle against as believers in God are in heavenly places. So just because a heavenly being might have appeared to you and revealed to you a revelation, okay, if it doesn't go in line with this word, this heavenly being is evil. Remember, the devil was once an angel. The devil and his demons were once angels and they were in the abode of the Most High. So they know a lot of things. They know a lot of things. For example, demon in Greek. Demon in Greek means what? Intelligence. They're very intelligent beings, you see. They're very intelligent beings. Jesus Christ said himself, okay, that if you listen to him and um, if you listen to him and follow him, you guys understand, if you listen to him and follow him, more understanding will be given to you, okay? So to have true understanding of the whole truth and everything, not just little truths part of the truths and not just have knowledge but if you want to have a proper understanding of what the whole truth is you ought to listen to jesus and follow him and more understanding will be given to you okay so now i'm going to go back to a point i made earlier on um the stars of heaven the knowledge of the zodiac coming from the stars of heaven and the stars of heaven being the fallen angels you know what i'm saying so i think this is an Acts 7, 42. Okay. It says, Then God turned away from them and abandoned them to serve the stars of heaven as their gods. In the book of prophets, it is written, Was it me you were bringing sacrifices and offerings during the 40 years in the wilderness, Israel? No. No. You carried your pagan gods, the shrine of Molech, the star of your god, Ren, Repham, and the images you made to worship them. So I will send you into exile as far as Babylon. So what we're going to focus on here is says, then God turned away from them and abandoned them to serve the stars of heaven as their gods. This is what you're serving in part of the new age when your third eye is open. These spirit guides are the stars of heaven and now you instead of turning to heavenly father the lord jesus christ who is god in the flesh you know the three in one the father son and the holy spirit you have turned to these spirit guides which appear to many of you as angels to serve them as your gods okay now, beware, they're, be they're created beings. 
the stars of heaven, the stars of zodiac who have knowledge. The stars of zodiac, the star alignment who have knowledge on each person born on a specific time period during the year. And as you read it, you'll see, oh, this seems to be really true. Because they've been watching, they've been watching. They've been watching humanity since humanity was created. So they're going to have knowledge on a lot of things. But the problem with humans is they'd rather seek something which lets them live however they want to, rather than seeking the ways of God. The ways of God are better, my friend. And you know, and I'm going to go to another point in this next scripture where it's in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians um, chapter 4, verse 4, which says, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ who is the exact likeness of God. So it says, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand the message of the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. So my new age friends, the guys who want to open their third eye, the truth is you're blinded by the God of this world and you're following the stars of heaven as your gods rather than submitting to the one true God and that is because Satan who is the God of this world has blinded your minds and he has your heart he has your heart man he has your heart so uh, just be careful with these things be careful with these things because you're going to come to find out one day that this spiritual way is just dangerous and it's falsehood it is falsehood and the thing is you don't understand the message of the glory of christ because your mind has been blinded by the devil into following this dangerous path and the thing is because the devil is the god of this world and pretty much he rules over this planet. He's been given dominion over this planet due to, due to mankind falling into sin. All of these things are starting to get really popular and many humans are starting to adopt it because the devil is living in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. That's what the Bible says. So all of them are led to these things and these things are being pushed out into the world. But the truth of the gospel no matter how much it gets pushed out, it always has resistance and many are against it because pretty much there are demons living in their hearts which hate this message, which hate this message because this is the only true way to salvation. You see, now think about this, okay? When Satan came to Jesus and offered him the world, this wasn't merely talking about a material gain in reality this was talking about of the hearts of the souls of men but jesus could not accept this offer because in order to gain the hearts and the souls of men in satan's way okay in the way satan offered it to him he would have to bow down and worship him meaning that these souls would belong to satan by default because the one who has captured these souls and these hearts, has now declared Satan as his leader. And they will belong to Satan and not the Heavenly Father. But because Jesus refused that in obedience to his Heavenly Father, then the souls that he did get, the souls that Jesus did save, would be able to go back to the heavenly father's abode which is the kingdom of heaven however if jesus had decided to not to not obey the heavenly father and bow down and worship satan he would have been very loved by the whole world and would have won the hearts of men but these men's souls could not have been saved because satan has been cast away from god so satan would have become 
Jesus's father in that sense, if you like. However, looking at how things are, Jesus was born perfect. Jesus was born with a sinless nature because he did not come from the seed of man, but he came directly from the throne of God into flesh, which is why he never disobeyed God, no matter what was thrown at him, no matter how much his flesh pinched at him and tried to tempt him to sin, he just didn't sin because it, his nature was the nature of God. But he made himself lower than the angels for a period of time in order to save mankind's souls, if this makes any sense. Do you know what I'm saying? So Jesus was given the opportunity to bow down to Satan, but automatically by his nature, he would not have followed this because he even says himself, he saw Satan fall down from heaven as lightning. Everything was created through him because he is the word of God, who was God and everything was created through him. But for a short period of time, he came into, into our flesh our sinful flesh. So Satan thought, okay, seeing as God is now in this lowly position, maybe I can tempt him away from this. Maybe I can tempt God. Maybe I can change the ways of the sun in order to, 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 to still have mankind under me, but gain their hearts. Because think about it, your favorite celebrities our ce favorite celebrities in this world who have given their souls to the devil, yeah? A part of that deal, a part of that covenant is they've won the hearts of many, which is why you see many musicians are exalted in this world and their fans are bowing down to them as idols. This is because they've given themselves over to the devil, you know? And if you're a new age guru, if you like, a spiritual guru, you have also, in a sense, given yourself to the devil, teaching his doctrines and won the hearts of many people. Ephesians 2.2 2 says, you used to live in, this is speaking to believers in Christ. It says, you used to live in sin, just like the rest of the world, obeying the devil, the commander of the powers in the unseen world. He is the spirit at work in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. He is the spirit at work in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. So I'm going to look at my notes again. I believe I've spoken a bit on this already. So you see how most of this world is hostile to God. That is because hostile to God, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, the name above all names. Why, why is most of the world hostile to him? It's because... The devil lives within their hearts, according to scripture. I'm going to read the scripture again. Um, just the last part of um, verse two, which says he is the spirit at work in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. This is the devil. Do you know what I'm saying? Therefore, this is what the devil is talking about when he offered Jesus the world. He was talking about the hearts of men, which he had. Because the hearts of men which he had are the hearts of men which refused to obey God. And he was offering Jesus the hearts of all of these men. And that Jesus would be loved by the world if he bowed down and worshipped the devil. This is, this is what the devil was offering Jesus. And this is what the devil offers many people today. And many people accept this deal because they cannot see the glory of God. They do not realise that there is no use gaining this world if you lose your soul. Your soul is more important than anything you can gain in this world. And why, why is it easy for the devil to do this? Is because the hearts of men are wicked. You know, we're born into sin. We're born with a handicap, if you like, the pride of life, the lusts, um, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. Do you know what I'm saying? We're born with a handicap, which is why many of our hearts are so easily turned away to these evil and wicked things, which are an abomination in the sight of God. You know, in Jeremiah 17, 17, 9, it says the human heart is the most deceitful of all things 
and desperately wicked, who really knows how bad it is? Who really knows how bad it is? So because the human heart is wicked and we're born into, um, naturally born into sin, naturally born into disobedience. As the Bible says, we are born into sin. We are conceived in sin. Okay. As we, our hearts are wicked, this, 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 this gives us a handicap in life. So if we do not have Jesus Christ, you know, if we're if we're not spiritually discerning things and looking for objective truth, but rather leaning on our own feelings, we'll be swept away by the devil one way or another. For the devil prowls around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and he's devoured many people today. But God has given you a chance to change. God has given you a chance to turn away from your old ways whoever you are out there, if you're living by this deception, you know what I'm saying? So by the hearts of men being desperately wicked, it wasn't hard for the devil to make his home in their hearts and lead them into the path of destruction, which the majority of people are on today, which includes people who've had this false spiritual awakening and had their third eye open so i'm going to go to the book of first timothy chapter four a very famous scripture amongst um believers today um First Timothy 4, 1 to 2, it says, Now the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last times, some will turn away from the true faith and they will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons. These people are hypocrites and liars and their consciences are dead. People say, my conscience is now alive. My conscience is spiritually awakened, but... If you're turning away from the true faith in Jesus Christ to follow these deceptive spirits and the teachings that come from them, you are merely deceived and your conscience is dead. Your conscience has not been made alive because by your conscience, you are led to the path of destruction. So your conscience in that by being led by these spirit guides, now your conscience is dead. You see, now the way these spirits are deceiving is because people in the new age or people with their third eye open are convinced by these entities that they're doing what is right. They communicate with spirits, but which spirits are they communicating with? Do these spirits lead them to the most high or away from the most high? Do these spirits lead them to the truth or away from it? Do these spirits lead them to sin or away from sin? You know what I'm saying? The spirit of God leads you away from sin. The spirit of God comes to convict you and your life. The spirit of God comes to help you to live for God. The spirit of God brings into remembrance the word of God, which is the truth. However, the spirit of the new age, the false spiritual awakening only leads you to mislead people, only deceives you. And in a way it deceives you, it convinces you that you are on the right path when you're not. The Bible has prophecies which will come to pass. Does the New Age books have prophecies? Maybe, maybe these prophecies, some of them are coming to pass. But if we go back to Deuteronomy 13, Deuteronomy 13, I believe, which speaks on false prophets, which are prophets of the New Age, Okay. 
Let me just read it for you. Suppose there are prophets among you who dream dreams about the future or promise you signs or miracles and the predicted signs or miracles occur. If they then say, come, let us worship other gods, gods you have not known before. Do not listen to them. The Lord your God is testing you to see if you truly love him with all your heart. Serve only the Lord your God and fear him alone. Obey his commands. Listen to his voice and cling to him. The false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death for they encourage the rebellion against the Lord your God who redeemed you from slavery and brought you out of the land of Egypt. So they try to lead you astray from the way the Lord your God commanded you to live. You know what I'm saying? So we don't put people to death anymore for we are under the new covenant. So we ought not to do that. But what this verse is speaking is a lot of truth. You see, some of their predicted signs and miracles occur. Sometimes what a psychic may tell you or someone who is woke will be true. What the star signs tell you will be true. However, if, if they say they lead you away from the true God to worship other gods you have not known before, do not listen to them. Do not listen to them. The Lord your God is testing you to see if you truly love him. So anyways, I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen to 15, which says, But I'm not surprised. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no wonder that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness in the end. They will get the punishment their wicked deeds deserve. This speaks levels. So many New Age people believe they've seen um, their spirit guides as angels of light. Satan disguises himself as one of these. Okay. He disguises himself in various different ways. Sometimes even in the Christian world, if you guys know what I'm saying, Satan will disguise himself as an angel of light. But a lot in this new age thing, he disguises himself as an angel of light. So people think, and then they bring their knowledge and intelligence to these people. And these people think, oh, we have found the true way. We're spiritually woke. No, you've just opened the door to demons to come and infiltrate your life. So these people with their third eye open believe they've been awakened and seen the light. When in reality, ladies and gentlemen, they've been deceived by the devil and his fallen angels. Demon in Greek, I've said this before, means intelligence. Therefore, a lot of mysteries have been revealed to them through this practice of having their third eye opened and reaching a higher consciousness. But it's led them away from the one true Lord and God Jesus Christ. Many of them have even carried many people in the new age with the third eye and who uh, have chakras and do all these things have labeled themselves Christians, such as Ayanla Vance, I believe her name is, Ayanla Vance and Oprah Winfrey. These people disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness, um, claiming that they're Christian. But in truth, they're led by demons and lead others astray. God bless you guys who've watched this video. Follow Jesus. He's the only way. For thus says the Lord God, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except they come through me, which means no one can actually achieve 
true knowledge and true consciousness in its entirety without the Lord Jesus Christ. So my friends of the new age, you should repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. He will forgive you of all your sins and you will have a place in the kingdom of heaven. He's not just a, an ascended master. He is the one and true living God who created you and fearfully and wonderfully made you. And he loves you and he wants to save you. But this will only happen if you're willing to confess Jesus as your Lord and believe in your heart that he is Lord and follow him in faith and believe in his word, which is the Holy Bible, which has been revealed to us. Yes. Anyways, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And yeah, peace be with you all.